Back to that breaking news live from Chopper 2, a mass shooting, at least six people shot. This all happening at 65th and King Drive in Parkway Gardens. The age ranges of those people ranging from 14 to 23 years old. Hey, from here, don't come here, please don't. His name is Davon Bennett, AKA King Vaughn. He's been on the street for too long. I want him off the street today. You guys ready? I'm ready for it. Do it. Alright, so probably the person that I get the most requests to do a video on and the rapper I've been rocking with for a while now is King Von. No doubt the most demonic figure that's come out of Chicago since the drill music wave in the 2010s. Fans are really enamored with his storytelling and music videos, but for the life of me, I don't know how King Von is a free man. I mean, bless him. All blessings to him. He's somehow been able to 2C slide and dodge every single case that's been thrown at him since he was 15. And while his partner Rondo was toting a bazooka on the gram. King Vaughn was on Twitter arguing with a mortal enemy over how many bodies they each got. And this was trolling the fuck out of the police, right? They couldn't stand it. See, in Chicago, only 20% of murders ever get proven, 80% go unsolved. 20 years for the murders, plus the gun has been locked. That's 21 years. So that's 41 years, that's just for the murder. And I got two or 10 murders. And you beat all those charges. You were acquitted. Yep, I'm gonna play. Now, we're gonna get into all this, but before we do, let me show you my song of the day. This is Mark Battles. Let's go. Ain't been happy in a while. I be staring in the mirror trying to force myself to smile. Can't keep blaming everybody. People do what you allow. And don't ask me how I feel, cause I'm responding back with how. How the fuck I'm supposed to feel when all my friends turn they back? How the hell I'm supposed to trust when people out here setting traps? How you expecting me to grow when I can't let my money stack? How you asking for a loan knowing you can't pay me back? How you claim to really love me but you fuck? Alright, in order to understand this story, we gotta go to Chicago. More specifically, the Parkway Gardens in the South Side. But you probably know it as O Block. Now, not only is this the home of Chief Keefe and King Vaughn, it's also the home of the former First Lady, Michelle Obama, who, when she looks back at her experience, says, It was never as bad as it is now. The area has always been a huge war between two factions, the BDs and the GDs. And this war has been going back since at least the 90s. But back then there was more structure, it was organized, and it was mostly a battle over drug trade. The BDs controlled a massive 16 story housing complex just two minutes away from O Block, posting snipers on the roof to protect their drug dealers. Lookouts were equipped with night vision goggles, and the entire organization was pulling in $300,000 a day for damn near 15 years. The BDs were run like a corporation. Money was laundered through investments into apartment buildings, a record label called MOB, a car wash, and a nightclub in Atlanta. But the leadership was taken out in 2004 with a massive police raid. Their headquarters was permanently closed and eventually demolished. 50 people were charged. Whole leadership gone. All the BDs migrated to O Block and created alliances with the sets around the area to go against their rival gang, the GDs. Now the GDs, which stands for Gangster Disciples, also had their leadership taken down. And now neither of the two gangs have any structure anymore coming from the top to the bottom. It's basically just kids running around with a profound hatred for each other, trying to blow each other's heads off. And this shit escalated even further in the 2010s with Chief Keef and the rise of drill music. Chief Keef, Rondo, Lil Reese, Lil Durk, and most of the people who saw success during the height of the drill scene were all black disciples. The gangster disciples had very little representation in mainstream music. Their most notable figures were FBG Duck, Lil J, Lil Jojo. So the fact that Chief Keef and O Block were able to control the airwaves and the popular sound made it so they could put super disrespectful lyrics towards the gangster disciples in their songs, and it would become mainstream. The best example is Tuka. Tuka, bitch. I'm on Tuka, bitch. I'm on Tuka. Tuka's death became the focal point for a lot of violence because the gang members that killed Tuka then used social media to really insult his memory. In this case, you have 
this young man actually in his coffin. Right. And this image has also been defiled. See, Tuka was a deceased 15-year-old boy that Chief Keef and Dirk would constantly mock in their songs. And the lyric became so popular, you had rappers like Lil Pump who had nothing to do with the situation. He's from Miami. You had Young M.A. who's from New York. And even NLE Choppa who's from Memphis. They would use Tuka in their songs or in everyday life without even knowing what it meant. Now, you recently said some shit about Lil Pump. Mm-hmm. And he used the, the smoking Tuka line? To this day, he probably think that everything all groovy. But no, when I see you, I'm gonna slap you. Young M.A. said it in her verse, and then, and then she apologized for it. And that's all I wanted. See, the hatred between the GDs and the BDs ran so deep. The feud was so strong. You even got King Von on video teaching a little kid how to shoot a water gun while saying F Tuka. Hey. Fuck Tuka. Shoot him in his head. Boom. Fuck to Say it. Now the death of this kid, Tuka, spawned something that was never before seen. A 17-year-old female assassin named Jakaira, who created a social media account dedicated to avenging his death. She was known to her rivals as somebody who was willing to, to shoot first, to ask questions later. It's all over the internet. Jakaira was on social media bragging about the shootings that she had done. She was proud and she let everybody know. She was very quick to let you know that she was violent and that she was not afraid to shoot somebody. It was said Jakaira was responsible for at least 15 shootings before she herself was eventually killed. Afterwards, a 4chan user hacked her Twitter and leaked DMs showing her and King Von had this weird back and forth where King Von was attempting to romance her in like a mocking way. I don't know, maybe it was real. Despite the fact that they were both rival gang members. And she didn't like dudes, she liked girls. But reading the tweets and listening to his interviews, you could tell King Von is a clever, smooth talker, right? He's smooth, but he's also a goddamn demon. A blood trail seems to follow him wherever he goes. And King Von was becoming an infant his figure in the Chicago PD briefing room, so they hated him. Police would bring him in for an armed robbery charge, possession of an illegal firearm, and they had suspicions of other stuff that they could never prove. One murder of a kid named Modell, allegedly, according to the internet detectives on Reddit, has King Von's name written all over it. It happened on a Saturday night where 24 other people were wounded across Chicago, but that wouldn't stop King Von from boasting about Modell's death on Twitter all the time. Now finally, in 2014, the police thought they had something. Vaughn and one of his friends were at a crowded house party when a rival GD named Malcolm Stuckey was in the corner, mean mugging them. Vaughn and them took offense, immediately left the party, came back 45 minutes later, shooting at the kid Stuckey who was outside along with two other people who tried to run. Stuckey was killed, the two others were wounded, and King Vaughn and his friend were snatched up by police a couple days later. After three and a half years, the trial finally started. It lasted a grand total of five days. Witnesses couldn't be located. Vaughn kept his mouth shut for the whole three years while his friend confessed to doing the shooting. So Vaughn beat the case, went home, and his friend got 28 years. As soon as Vaughn was out, the dude he was always arguing with on Twitter named Wooski, who's a gangster disciple and his mortal enemy, was attending a funeral at the Bethlehem Star Baptist Church when all of a sudden, an AK-47 pistol, AKA a Draco, was whipped out and started spraying into the crowd. Dozens of shots rang off and Wooski was shot. Now he survived and King Von was not responsible for this, but that does not stop him from mocking him every chance he gets on Instagram Live. He ain't been the same. He don't talk shit no more, nothing wrong. What the fuck? Them bullets be changing them all for out, man. And this is why Vaughn's fans fuck with him, right? It's the authenticity. It's the allure of the savageness, right? That the fans like. They like that in their music. I don't think they like it in real life, though. Anyways, now Vaughn is in Atlanta making crazy music videos with dope storylines and his channel's got 150 million views in 11 months, right? He's blowing up and his fans are diehards, right? They're crazy. They read into everything he posts looking for clues. Like this man posted an Insta story just trying to promote his new music video. And people were reading into how many skulls he put in his caption, like seven skulls, that's seven bodies. King Von has seven bodies. It even got to the point where King Von went live on Instagram himself and said, listen, if the internet was right about the bodies people had, they would be in jail. So don't believe what anyone says. I repeat, anyone. And I'll be honest, I hope that's true. Bless him. All I know is listen, in Chicago, the clubs close at like 12, right? 
it doesn't go past 12 because of the violence. And I know that King Von can't go to Canada to do shows. He can't go to overseas to do shows. So it's a blessing and a curse, right? Because of his history, King Von creates this allure and this personality that people want to rock with his music, but also fucks up his business opportunities because he can't leave the country. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who do you want me to cover next? Make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one.